Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Tyler the Man, and today we're going to be playing Catherine, full body. Now, this is my first time actually playing this game. Like, I heard about it when I was, you know, a few years ago, but I never got a chance to play it, and it came out with a full body version, so I figured, why not? Before we get started, I just want to say I did try playing this game um, once before, like a week ago, when I tried recording another video. It didn't work out too well. The video file got corrupted, so now we're doing it again. Last time I went on hard, and it took me about an hour and a half to clear one, you know, the tutorial stage. So we're doing normal mode this time. Classic. Again, I know nothing about this game going in. Kinda epic. Hairstyle, though. When the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse special feature. Do I see some new faces? I'm new. Once again, your guide for the night is me, the Midnight Venus, Trisha. Hi, Trisha. Have you heard about this? Scary rumor. They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine Full Body, the second coming of an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain curse has a terrifying and dramatic week. Oh, does that sound familiar? <laughs> well, like I said, this is Catherine, but with a fuller body. It's aged nicely, with a sensual flavor, not unlike a fine wine. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He is an earnest and kind man. Looks kind of like an older One version of the dude from Persona. have terrifying nightmares. Amidst the storm of temptations around him, he has another chance encounter. And an awfully cute one at that. But doesn't this seem a little... <laughs> convenient? Oh my, sounds like a recipe for disaster. Will Vincent be able to overcome the massive blocks in his life? Ha! Perhaps. He'll take a road less traveled. <laughs> His outcome depends on you, viewers. Sorry to keep you waiting. Raise the curtains. It's time to savor the marriage of pleasure and pain. Now enjoy the show until we meet again.
Kinda like in the song, not gonna lie. Those faces, though. What? You think if he didn't walk through the doors, he probably just would have been fine? Hurry up and climb. Duh. Who are you? Where is? Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die. You fucking serious? The ground is collapsing beneath you. Hurry. Edge. Move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these things? You can grab onto a block with the X button and move it with the directional. Some blocks can be moved, while others cannot. If you make a mistake moving a block, you can press the L1. We're not going to be undoing too often. I'm an idiot. Um. Uh. Uh. Wow, I'm really bad at this. These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight. Even what's that supposed to mean? They connect at the even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another. Connecting blocks at their edges to make stairs. Strive for the goal by creating a path. Step. All right, I got okay. Um. That's another thing I forgot to mention. I'm kind of an idiot. Um. Undo your move. I'm an idiot. The idiot that's surviving. Right, 
Really think I made the life harder for myself than I had to. Where is this? What is this ringing? If we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec. How's she talking to me? When you hear the bell ringing, you'll know that you refer to the map located on the left side of the screen to see how much. Okay. Yeah, yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. I can get out through here. So, was that guy climbing while talking down to me? Like, what was, how was he even doing that? Imagine climbing for your life and just going, Hey, you need to climb! Push the blocks! Okay, we got a bronze. I'll take it. New game is about to begin. I'll be sure to prepare something extra special for you behind the next door. Let's meet again tomorrow night. I look forward to it. Today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay. I'll be right there. Yeah. Maybe I should have um, disabled that. Sorry. Such bug eyes. Hey, where'd you go? Snap out of it. Were you even listening? Uh, sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything all right? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I uh, had to work early this morning. Are you getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, Wait, he doesn't get overtime pay? You don't get anything. <sighs> Weird world. Uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like where you're in danger? No, no, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? What type of cake shop has ants running around like that? How many years have we been together? Huh? Hmm. How many years? I'm asking you. It's just my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but. Yeah. 
I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. Sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose... Oh my gosh. Actually, a face only a mother could love. I take it back. A face not even a mother could love. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been hey, it, the Why did the news report say lonely death? Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? And what do you think? So? Who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. Are you kidding? Women's wrestling? What'd I know? Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but... Wow. You. Married, huh? Hey, nothing set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but... I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's... It's like we're comfortable where we Man, are. Yeah, kind of 32. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. You know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. And what if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? Wait. That sounds just like you, Chief. So he has a girl, but he's single? the interview go <laughs> the boss seems like a really nice person he said I could work here starting tomorrow so everything's cool with you now mm -hmm. oh, way better hey did old boss make any weird moves hey Rin come here oh. I'll see you later anyway did you hear about Paul he's dead Paul wait that Paul He's dead? Yeah. I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. That was Paul? This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah. The mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit! No way! Maybe Will I'll wind up dead tomorrow, too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning... I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. Whoa. Oh, that's messed up, man. He's kind of ballsy. <laughs> I had a really scary dream. I would never tell my friends if I did that. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where are you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. Mm, see ya. Hey, Erica. 
So, she managed to get the job, huh? Of course. I can't just abandon someone with amnesia, especially when they seem... And she instantly got a job. And like Johnny said, there's this innocent cluelessness to Rin that, oh, I just can't help caring about. Not to mention the whole stalker thing. Who would do that, and why? Seems like even she doesn't know. Now how could that be? You should find out. Everything okay now? Yeah, I think so. Um, I wanted to say thanks. Not just for saving me, but also for finding me a job and a place to stay. I was so scared. I couldn't remember anything. I'm so glad I met someone as nice as you, Vincent. It was nothing, really. Anyone would have done the same. Still, you saved me, Vincent. I start working here tomorrow, so I'll do my best to show you my appreciation. You got a mail. From time to time, you'll receive texts at the bar. Ooh, flip phone. Doing it really classy, huh? Give it a try. Like I said before, I'm having dinner with old friends. Huh. I don't remember her saying that to me. It's surprising. Most of them are already married and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing off pictures of their families and it makes me feel left out. Hmm. That kind of like a hint? Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone too. That's definitely a hint. What do we say here? You were thinking it, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna play it off that way. We don't need to be tied down. Mm. I wanna get away from the conversation, but I don't want her to be mad at me. There we go. We don't need to be tied down. No, 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 I'm pretty tired. It's like a... That's a surefire way to get someone mad at you. Let's just go with... That might get me mad. We're gonna go with this one. We're gonna be aloof. You're overthinking it. We don't need to be tied down. We don't need to rush into this. Later. Wait, did my gosh just go down? When certain words and actions change Vincent's inner ideas, a meter will be shown. Actions will affect the story. Remember it. Hey, how many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? Figured this would happen eventually, but just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. <sighs> Bringing up her parents out of the blue? It's not like her. Why is it highlighting those words? You got a mail. Are you drinking at the stray sheep again? You know you have work tomorrow. Take it easy. By the way, I got a photo that was taken at the party we went to after the wedding the other day. Oh, we were at a wedding recently. That's probably what's doing it. We found the culprit. It's of me being forced to entertain the crowd, but it does bring back some old memories. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Who was carrying a cheerleader outfit with them? Who was carrying a cheerleader outfit with them and brought that to a wedding for her to wear? I feel like that's kind of concerning. Can I say something about that? This is weird. Hmm. We're gonna get back into Catherine's good graces. But somebody brought a cheerleading outfit for her to wear to wear, so she might have a stalker. 
We're gonna go with Dilshul and the other guys. Yeah. Be careful out there, Catherine. Ah, the gods shot back up. We did right. We're neutral again. Uh, I don't know. I still feel like going home today. Oh, I found it. It's Catherine. Wait, so she texted me twice and then immediately calls right after? She texted me two times back to back. I text her back and then she calls right after. Are you kidding? Yeah. Hello, Vincent. It's me. Yeah, what's up? I wanted to apologize for cutting our meeting short this morning. Wait, she cut it short this morning? Uh Why'd it go down? Wasn't it important to you? Uh, that's not We're having breakfast. Whatever. I wasted my time calling you. Good night. Don't stay out too late drinking. Why'd she get mad at me? Yep, that's out of the save file where I played on hard mode. It took me a straight hour to get pet through that tutorial level. But that's our little secret, guys. Don't tell nobody. He's wearing glasses inside. Through that door? Can I just see where I was? Where am I? Last night's dream? Again? What the hell? I was at the bar and this girl came in and then. Damn, I can't remember. What's going on? from last night boys you're that guy from yesterday does he can he see me but i can't see him like is he climbing up the tower and like looking down and spotting me and i can't spot him for whatever reason like what is up with that Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks they'll break after you step on them really many blocks have unique characteristics such as cracked blocks and immovable blocks whenever you see a new block Proceed with caution. Um. Welp. I think we're screwed. Um. My goose isn't cooked yet. If you can't find a clear path to walk, try look. You'll drop down to the edge whenever you run out of footing by crawling along those edges. You may be able to reach air. 
Alright, I got it. Alright, I got it. I see you're still alive and kicking. How are you talking to me? If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. Even without dragging a block, you can easily hang down by running off a ledge where there is this technique is vital to your success. Alright, I got it. Edge. Alright, All right, I got it. Finding and picking up a mystic pillow will grant you an additional undo until you reach the top. Gather as many as you can. Alright, I got it. Okay. Edge. My gold. Um. I think I'm doing the right thing. Uh. Crap. Um. If you can't find a way forward, you may wish to undo and try and do I think we're screwed. Guys, I think we're screwed. I came close. Wait, wait, it's not over yet. Okay, yeah, I think it's over now. Undo. On normal difficulty, you can undo moves if you need to fix this. I did not hit the undo button. You've used up all your chances to undo. Undo. I'm not even hitting the undo button. I'm just gonna use them all up. Um. Undo. I don't think there's anywhere for me to go. I think this is it. Fudge. Stupid, creepy faces. Undo. Well, undo. can it stop? Can I stop using undos? Undo. Dude, I don't want to use the undos. Undo. 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 There, no more undos. Screw it. No way! May you rest in peace. Now's not the time to be dead. Alright, I got it. Okay, um. Alright, alright. Alright, I got it. Um, oh yeah. Alright, I got it. 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 I shouldn't have done that. Am I an idiot? I think I am. Okay. I did not think that was gonna break. Are you 
having some trouble? Remember, you can always go back and You've undo come pretty some far. Good job. I'll see you at the landing. Everybody, who's everyone? Hey, hey, wait a sec. Once you so I guess the other guy left. You can retry from that spot. Be sure to run through it whenever you. Okay, so. No, no, no! I'm not gonna get greedy. Um. I'm an idiot. Wait, 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 I'm not an idiot. If you stop, it may be best to try and undo your moves. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I made it. Here I go. <laughs> that was way closer than it should have been. Give me my bronze. Or apparently no trophy at all. Looks like you survived. Who, who are you? The sheep? Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Everybody here is a sheep but me. Recognize that voice? Who are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing for certain, though. If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way. Like I said, there's no guarantee, but we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Wait, how come some of the sheep are in cages? Look with all the dying stuff. I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, 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 no wait. You hurry too. Hey. hey. Can't be serious. You can save the notebook and talk with other sheep on the landings. Go on, talk to them. When the icon is pink, you can talk to them. It grays out once they have nothing more to say. Cool. What's the notebook? Actually, alright guys, that's it um, for this video, thanks for watching. I'm going to put up more Catherine videos soon, if you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Once again, my name is Tyler the Man, and I will catch you next time.